reporting feature under the templates would be of great importance. So before the patching and after the patching, you know, you might want to run a, a report like an executive summary report, which will give you a high level view of where your environment stands on a scale of 100. And for MSPs who are hitting the customer's table for the first time trying to talk about business, show them the value that what you bring in Tim's and why do they really need your services. If you can actually go ahead and put the agents on their network and collect the data after a day, you would see something like this, where you can see an overall score and show them that these are the concerned areas that where you definitely need some kind of service, maybe not you, but a service put to put an, into perspective. And people realize that yes, that's why they need a service that has to go on on a regular basis so that your systems are always up, they're maintained, and you have to not go ahead and you know specify everything that you do because the report will tell you all that what are those areas that what kind of issues you would be dealing with when you will be dealing with the customer because that's the thing most of the MSPs traditionally you don't have an insight on that when you start a contract with a customer what complexities are there in the setup what complexities are there in the network which eventually you realize by a hit and trial and by troubleshooting and spending those hours and hours of fixing issues but with this with this smooth, sweet little intelligence in the background, Pulse can give you this overview and give you an understanding and your customer an understanding. At the same time, at some point in time, if in case you want to go ahead and customize this report to a level to actually see some fields for yourself and some not for the customer, you can uncheck those and see that report. Going back to the patching stuff, if I were to go ahead and click on templates, right, I can go ahead and use the same report, which is executive summary report before and after the patching and make sure that I see that which are those systems which automatically got patched or with this didn't get patched. So if you see, I have a section here under which it says one system should apply the patch. So now that I know that if I automated my task, my score went on to 95 from 80, 95% 95 of my job, what I was supposed to do manually is done. It's only 5%, which is this computer. So what do I do next? I go to this system, click on the systems, hit the system, and just patch the system looking at what kind of patch is needed so that the report shows the corrective measure is being done and the system go into the green state. So as you see, there's a lot that you can do. There's in terms of that you can go ahead and specify there are addresses, there are installed softwares, you know, there are updates, and there are a lot of other reports that you can see real time because sometimes you really don't need a report, but more of an info. So if I were to see that if I'm not getting uh, some kind of RDP connection to a system, the agent is running, well, Pulseway can actually act as the Pulseway remote feature, which is there on the desktop, let me show you, can act as a plan B if in case your traditional RDP is not working. And at the same time, since that works over the internet, if, if any kind of IPsec connectivity, site-to-site -site connectivity is lost, you can always use this Eagle Eye dashboard to always right-click into a system like this and connect to the remote desktop. That's one. Then I can use the security status option to see what are the rules, what are the firewall profiles which are there populated on the system, what's happening on the system, and that's it. But keep that in mind, all these reports are available only in the PDF format for now. Right, customization on this reports is only possible on the templates that you can customize on a subset of systems. Legacy reports are more of a report which is like a read only and keep a record just for the record's sake, you know, to keep the records on time. Uptime reports is what you can use. Mm -hmm.